Hello, you are welcome. Here we want to solve this nice algebra problem, and uh, we are finding the value of x from here. Now let's write this as two over three. Instead of writing square root, now we can write raised to power half from the law of indices. Square root also means raised to power half. Then raised to power x plus two, which is equals to twenty-seven over eight from here. Then from here, since we have this power to multiply from the law of indices, then this will become x plus two times half. We now have two over three raised to power x plus two all over two, which is same thing as twenty seven over eight from here. And also in the next step, let's reduce this side. And write it in another way. So we have two over three here. Then raised to power x plus two over two equals to twenty-seven can be written as three raised to power three, and eight can be written as two raised to power three. And from the law of indices, we have power of three. Come on, we can put three over two in bracket and pull three out. Then we have two over three, all raised to power x plus two over two equals to three over two, all raised to power three from here. Then also from here, we can make this to have the same thing from here. We can make this bracket to be the same by taking the reciprocal here. And uh, when we take the reciprocal here, we put raised to power minus. So this will now become two over three. Then raised to power x plus two over two equals to two over three. Then raised to power minus three. This minus, as you know, represented what we did, which is reciprocal from the law of indices. Then we have same base now. We can now equate the power, and this will be x plus two over two equals to minus three. This is simply minus three over one. When we cross multiply, we have x plus two equals to two times minus three, which is minus six. Then, since we are finding x, let's take two to that side. We have x equals to minus six minus two, which is x equals to minus eight from here. So we have the value of x to be minus eight. Let's check from the problem we have x equals to minus eight if it satisfies this given problem. Then from here we got x to be equals to minus eight. Let's put x equals to minus eight here in this given problem. Then this will become into bracket square root of two. Over three raised to power, we have minus eight as x. That's minus eight plus two. We this give us twenty seven over eight. Then from here, we have minus eight plus two as minus six. So same thing as two over three power of half. That's square root. Then multiply by that's three raised to power minus six now. Is this equals to twenty-seven over eight from here? Then by the time we look at it, this power multiply, and then we can say two go here, one two go here, three. So we have minus three. So we can say this is two over three raised to power minus three from here. Is this equals to twenty-seven over eight? And don't forget here we have raised to power minus. It means the reciprocal of what is in the brackets here. We have three over two now. Which is raised to power three is this equals to twenty seven over eight, and then from the law of indices, when we reverse this, you know this law, this power of three affects all the numbers inside the bracket. That's three raised to power three over two raised to power three is this equals to twenty seven over eight. Of course, three raised to power three means three times three times three, which is twenty seven. And two raised to power three means two times two times two, which is eight. 
and which is equal to 27 over 8. Here we have come to the end of this problem. The left hand side equals to the right hand side. And uh, from here, we can conclude that x is equal to minus 8. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to this channel for more exciting videos. Turn the notification bell on to receive notifications to our uploads. And don't forget to share and like this video. Also, put a way of solving it. If you have any way of solving it, put it in the comment section. Thank you. See you next class. And bye for now.